Okay, we're going to find divisibility by certain numbers, and just six numbers. Divisibility by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now, for something to be divisible by 2, this number simply needs to end in the um, two time tables. So it either needs to end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Ends in any of these numbers in the two time tables, it's divisible by 2. Uh, to be divisible by 5, it needs to end in either a 0 or 5. So if it ends in 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. 4 has the same nature. 4, if the last two digits are in the four time tables, then it's divisible by 4. So the last two digits, like a, if it, the last two digits are 28, it's divisible by 4. Now, sometimes you'll get very large numbers, and you're not sure if they're divisible by um, 4. Let's say the last two numbers are 60. If you can break that up into two numbers that are divisible by 4, it can work for you. So 60 can be broken up into a 40 and a 20, and both of those are in the um, four time tables. Okay. okay, next. The threes. A number is divisible by 3 if you take all the individual numbers and add them up. So if you see a 130, 135, okay. If you add the individual numbers, and the individual numbers are in the three time tables, so 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 5 is 9. When you add these up individually, you'll get 9. And if this number, when you add it up, is in the three time tables, then the original number 353 could be divided, 355 could be divided by 3. Well, 9 has the same flavor. If you take all your numbers that you have, let's say you have a 200 and 1, let's make that 4. Two hundred forty-three, and you want to know if that's divisible by nine. Well, you add up all your numbers: two plus four plus three, and that'll be six plus three, which is nine. If this number right here is in the nine time tables, then the original number two hundred forty-three is divisible by nine. Okay. The last one: to be divisible by six. The number simply has to be, be divisible by two, 2 and 3. So if it's divisible by 2 and it's divisible by 3, it's divisible by 6. Let's take a look at these numbers. OK, first question, is 744 divisible by 2? Well, the last number is in the two time tables. So the answer is yes. Is it divisible by 3? Well, let's add up the numbers. 7 plus 4 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. And 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 is in the three time tables, so this can be divided by 3. Can it be divided by 4? Well, we look at the last two digits, 44. Is 44 in the four time tables? And the answer is yes. 44 is in the four time tables. So this can be divided by 4. Can this be divided by 5? Well, does it end in a 0 or a 5? And the answer is no. So this one is no. OK, 6. To be divisible by 6, we have to look if it's divisible by 2 and 3. And it is, 2 and 3. So you can divide that by 6. And finally, can you divide this by 9? Let's add the numbers again. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 is not in the 9 time tables, so this cannot be divided by 9. OK, let's look at 468. Can that be divided by 2? Well, the last number is in the 2 time tables, so yes, this can be divided by 2. Can it be divided by 3? Well, let's add the numbers. 4 plus 6 is 10, and then 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 is in the 3 time tables. So this can be divided by 3. 
Let's look at four. For four are the last two digits of the four time tables. Well, 68 is kind of high. So I'm going to look at 68 and break that up into a 40 and a 28. Okay. Well, 40 is in the um, four time tables and 28 is also in the four time tables. So yes, 68 is in the four time tables. To be in the five time tables has to end with a zero or a five. That doesn't end with a zero or five. So this is no, it's not in the five time tables. To be in the six time tables, you gotta be in the two and three time tables, which we are right here. So this is in this, so it can be divided by six. And for nine, the numbers have to add up individually to nine. So four plus six is, oh sorry, the nine times tables. Four plus six is 10, and then 10 plus eight is 18. 18 is in the nine time tables. So this can be divided by nine. All right, let's take a look at two more numbers. One, four, seven, six, Demarcation here. Okay, so can 1476 be divided by 2? And the answer is yes, because 6 is in two time tables. So this can be divided by 2. Can it be divided by 3? Let's find out. Let's add the 1, 4, 6, and 7. 1 plus 4, that's 5. Then 5 plus 7, that's 12. And at 12 to 6, we get 18. And 18 is in the three time table, so it can be divided by 3. Now, for 4, we got a 76. That's a little tough to do, so we're going to break 76 down. I'm going to take 76 and break that into a 40, because I know that's in the four time tables. And what's left over is 36. And 36 is also in the four time tables. So since both of these are the four time tables, this will be this can be divided by four. Next, can it be divided by five? Well, it has to end in a zero of five, and this ends in a six, so that can't be divided by five. Can it be divided by six? Well, it can be divided by two and three, therefore it can be divided by six. And finally, can it be divided by 9? Let's add up the numbers here. 1 plus 4, that's 5. Plus 7, so 5 plus 7, that's 12. And then 12 plus 6, that's 18. And 18 is in the 9 time tables, so it can be divided by 9. Okay, our last one. Can this be divided by 2? Well, the last number is 0, and 0 is in the 2 time tables. So yes, it's going to be divided by 2. Can it be divided by 3? Let's do some adding. 3 plus 3 is 6. And then 6 plus 9 is going to be 15. And 15 plus 0 is still going to be 15. And 15 is in the 3 time tables, so this can be divided by 3. Okay, 4. Is 90 in the 4 time tables? Well, let's take 90 and break it into two pieces. 40. And I'm actually going to break this up into three pieces, 40, 40, and 10. Because I know 40 is in the, in the um, four time tables. This other 40 is in the four time tables. But the, the 10 that's left over, that's not in the uh, four time table. So we conclude that 4, this is not divisible by 4. Is it divisible by 5? Remember, the ends in 0, 5 it is. Hey, ends in 0. So this is divisible by 5. Is it divisible by 6? Well, to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by like 2 and 3. And it is. So we'll check that off. And is it divisible by 9? Well, let's add up the numbers 3 plus 3 plus 9 and see what happens. 3 plus 3 is 6. And then 6 plus 9 is going to be 15. And then 15 plus 0 
it's going to still be 15. And 15 is definitely not in the 9 time tables. So no, this is not divisible by 9. 